My name is Karis Peach and I am a graphic designer in San Francisco. I work for a company called Font Shop that uh, designs, creates, and distributes digital fonts. So a lot of people think that graphic design is just about making stuff look cool and it's actually a lot more than that. We are about uh, communicating ideas and messages uh, visually. So that could be anything from a brand and involving logo design to websites to posters to mobile apps. Um, if something is going to be presented graphically, that's where we come in and um, make it look the way it needs to so you can understand it best and enjoy the experience. So freelance is a lot of fun because your job is constantly changing. With every new client, there's a new challenge and that usually involves learning as much as you can about that client and what they sell. So there's a lot of research, I think, uh, which a lot of people don't know about, that goes behind design. Um, you want to know it inside and out so you can tell other people about it in a way that's going to be engaging to the demographic you're trying to reach. So there are um, a couple different ways to get plugged into the industry. Uh, the two main differences are in-house and freelance. When you work as an in-house designer, you are part of a larger company and part of their usually like media or marketing team and you service only that company and you work with just their brand and their ideas and their message. As a freelance designer, you are constantly getting new clients. You usually work with them for one project at a time. You solely provide all services um, that a client might need. As opposed to when you're working in-house, you're with a team, freelancers often work by themselves most often. So now as a kid, I was always the kind of arts and crafty type of crayons and markers and blank pieces of paper to mess with. Um, but I think design started when I discovered KidPix. It was the first like basic computer program where you could mess around with um, digital brushes and, and different effects and spray paint buttons, all kinds of stuff. That really got me interested in creating my own thing on computers um, and then also on paper. Then I discovered scanners and that combination of uh, handmade and computer made eventually led me to discover graphic design. All along the way, I was always like making my own thank you cards or making my own Christmas cards. Uh, family members would have me make just random t-shirt designs. So it was always a hobby until um, I graduated high school and needed to choose a major for college. And I discovered this whole field where all the things I did for fun, you got paid to do professionally and um, it had a really great history behind it. When I first started college, I entered as a general art major. So I knew I loved design, but I wasn't sure what the direction was to take with that. When I was a junior, I finally decided to declare myself um, a candidate for a Bachelor of Fine Arts, which meant that I specifically focused on graphic design, and I took higher level courses um, that only graphic design majors could take. That allowed me to really specialize in um, this particular field and expose myself to much more complicated technology and techniques and um, made me much more prepared for the workforce right after school. So when I first started schooling for graphic design, I was often told that the academic portion of it is only half of what it would take to be a good designer. You needed real work experience, you needed to work with people, and so I made it um, a real goal of mine to continue to kind of put myself out there in these real world experiences. In college, while I was still trying to get my degree, I took a couple of internships as well as took on freelance clients. Even as I was learning these things, I found that they were ways that I could um, offer clients who initially were family and friends, uh, ways to make small things like business cards and brochures look a little bit better. Um, and then as I got further into my program, I was able to start offering um, services like website design and uh, branding. So I think those two things combined, learning it in school, learning it from the textbook, from my professors, plus learning how to deal with people, which is um, a part of design that's tricky to figure out in the classroom. Um, those combined experiences, I feel like, prepared me for interviews as well as like first time job experiences after school was finished. One of the big misconceptions about graphic design is that it's just about art. And it's true that you definitely have to kind of know what you're doing aesthetically, but a lot of it is people skills, and that you can kind of only learn as you go. You have to learn how to listen well to your clients and be able to ask them the right kind of questions to draw out what they want to say. Um, because sometimes part of your job as a designer is almost like counselor, like you need to hear what their vision is, you need to hear what their passion is, and to really pull that out so you can do your job the best way that you can 
and get their message out to their wider audience. So for someone who's looking to start a career in graphic design, definitely getting the technical skills is important. So programs like Photoshop and Illustrator are definitely core programs that we use. So it's good to learn all that that's about and be able to do it quickly. However, that's just a small percentage of it. The rest of it is learning about the history of design and understanding your craft um, in order to be able to serve your clients best later on. You want to know what's been done and what's going on now. Uh, print and the communication arts are two great magazines that I love that uh, will really keep you up to date to what's going on in the industry. Um, to read a lot about things beyond just graphic design. So books on architecture and philosophy and understanding the way that people work will make you a better communicator and in turn a better designer. So last summer I got the opportunity to talk at career day at my old elementary school. So it was a bit like coming home and it was kind of a bizarre experience to come as a speaker as opposed to a student, but it was great. I talked to a group of sixth graders who were interested in graphic design and they didn't know too much about it at first, but I definitely wanted to impart the message that design wasn't just about being an artist, it was about seeing the world with intention. What can you do to change it, make it better, do it differently? I was actually pretty intimidated to talk to a group of like 11 and 12 year olds, but they loved it and they responded so well. And I got a bunch of thank you letters from them later. Some of them saying like now they want to be designers or more important to me was that like now they saw design where it was happening around them. And I think that's the most important thing. Even to people who don't want to be, you know, exactly graphic designers, the idea that in whatever field or industry that you're working in um, to put your heart into it and to see how you individually can make an impact um, on that profession. Thanks for watching the Always Summer Project. I'm Cars Page. You can learn more about me and my work at carspage.com. Thanks for watching. It's always summer in San Francisco. <laughs>